Ever been ghosted after a date? Let Cosmo and Cat call them. This is Hook Up or Hang Up with Level Up in the Columbia Mall on the Cosmo and Cat Show. Today on the phone here on Hook Up or Hang Up, Level Up Hotline. Let's patch Brian in from the uh, Lake of the Ozarks area. Brian, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. What's going on? Hey, so tell us a little bit about what's going on with Sarah. Well, I couldn't have shown her a nicer time. And, uh, like, we went on a date, and she ghosted me, and right. calling in trying to figure it out. You right. know, I was a little so, bummed about it. It, was, it made a great time. Okay. So let's do this. Let's jump to the start, Brian. Then what happened? Like, what was the date? Well, I'm a member of a country club, and uh, we had our annual charity event. And so I took her to that. It's a really nice event. And you know, a great time. There's dinner, dancing. There's auctions. There's a really nice time. And she even won a Louis Vuitton bag. Oh dang! Ooh dang! <laughs> yeah, right. Lucky. So, <laughs> so the night wrapped up, and great time. She walked away with a like great prize, and like, um, and it wrapped up pretty nice too. You know we. I had a nice hug at the end. She gave me a kiss on the cheek. I thought things went well. Okay. Uh, we went our separate ways that night, and um, okay, I thought it was pretty pretty good first date overall. Okay, so then let's 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 jump into like where we're at right now as you as you talk with us here on the morning show on Y one hundred seven. Brian, where like what are we talking? A couple weeks, still nothing from her. Yeah. She hasn't responded to anything. Yeah, fast forward two weeks later, and here we are, and she hasn't called me back. Um, I've been, you know, reaching out, not overdoing it, but uh, okay. like, but you know, I want to go out with her again, and I, I thought we had a really good time. So, um, but she's got to call me back for that to happen, you know. So we got to connect again. Yeah. Is there anything that you can think of that was weird about the date, or did you see her mood shift or anything like that? No, all night. Like uh, I didn't, I didn't catch anything. Uh, we were, it seemed, seemed like we were having a pretty good time the whole, the whole time. So, um, I'm pretty, you know, aware of those things and nothing. So that's, what's baffling me, but I did. We'll try and call her next. Is your date not calling you back? Next message. I left your message several days ago. Hook up or hang up with level up in the Columbia mall. This is the Cosmo and Cat show. Ever been ghosted after a date? Let Cosmo and Cat call them. This is Hook Up or Hang Up with Level Up in the Columbia Mall on the Cosmo and Cat Show. So, Cat Brian took Sarah to the country club that he's a member of at the lake there. Uh, they had a big event and they do it every summer. Huge fundraiser, dinner, dancing, auction, you know, the whole thing. She and even wins a Louis Vuitton yeah. bag. She wins this huge handbag, like, holy nice. cow, how cool is that? But That's not a bad first date right there. Nothing since, though. She's completely <laughs> ghosting him. So let's let's call her and see if she'll pick her phone up out of her $600 Louis bag and answer. Hello? Hi, is this Sarah? Uh, yeah, who's calling, please? Hey, this is Cosmo and Kat on the morning show on Y107. Uh, we were... Wondering if you would come on line with the, or on air with us. We're just um, following up for a friend of ours that you went on a date with. Uh, Brian, does that ring a bell? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, are, are you cool with telling us a little bit about what your take on the date was? Yeah, I can I can answer some stuff. Okay. So, like, what what was your take on the date? <laughs> <laughs> okay well it just it kind of sort of felt like i was just one of a lot of women in his life you know oh what do you mean so he took me to the, his country club for a charity night and it was really nice i was actually having a great time and then i overheard someone talking about me and brian and how i was like the fifth woman he brought to the club within the last couple of months and how he always has to have a girl on his arm. So you felt like you were just being used a little bit, that you were just there for some arm candy? Yeah, a little bit. Man. Okay. Um, well, let's, let's do this. I know what that's like. 
I yeah. can relate, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's do this, Sarah, real quick here. Um, first of all, congrats, by the way, on the Louis Vuitton handbag. That's pretty dope that you won that. That's cool. He told yeah. us about that. Yeah, that was cool. I, yeah. think I, I really like my new bag. <laughs> I would, too. Dang. <laughs> uh, well, Sarah, um, we do have Brian actually on the call with us here right okay. now. Do you mind t- talking to him for a minute and kind of clearing things up? Yeah, I guess so. that's fine. Okay. Bri- hey, Brian. Hey, I'm here. What do you, What do you think about what you heard Sarah say? What are you feeling? Uh, well, I you know I think there's a little you know misinterpretation going on. Like, cause, um, I'm sorry to, to hear that 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 you heard that or people were saying things. Like, I'm I'm. I have brought dates to the country club before, and like uh, I'm not going to deny that. And I uh, like I, I you know I like the country club. I pay a lot of money to be there, and then, so I just I bring dates there. But it's uh it's not like I bring somebody to have them on my arm or anything like that. Like I'm sorry that it was interpreted that way. It's just strange that you're bringing all these women to the same place, right? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, like if you have a favorite restaurant or if, something like that, like you know, when you go on dates, you know, I've been, you know, what, it's, uh, I've been single for a year and, you know, I, uh, single people go on dates and I just like going to the country so club. Just, I just want to get the most out of bro- it. Like I'm not. So, Brian, real quick, sorry to interrupt you. What you're saying, Brian, is you're single. You've been single a while. You're living your best life. You pay a lot of money for the country club, and that's where you decide to take your dates instead of going to, you know, whatever, Baxter's or whatever restaurant. Instead, you go to the club. Yeah. And, and sometimes people win nice bags. It's a good place. So it's, uh... <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. They made it sound like you weren't dating as much as you just wanted to have somebody on your arm for the night. Like, no. no. Yeah, you know, like special, I, I guess. Yeah, I can understand why hearing that you might think that. That's what, all I can tell you is that's not the case. I don't know who's saying this stuff. I don't even know them, but um, and they don't really know what they're talking about. Um, it's uh, like I'm not gonna say I have never brought a date there before because yeah. I have, and you know, there's been you know maybe over the last month, you know, a, a, a small handful or whatever. It's just just. It's, I guess it's my go-to move to you know, go to the country club to start. I'm comfortable there, so I'm just trying to be comfortable and um, not nothing really serious. I like, but that's why I like. I was trying to get a hold of you. I, I thought we had a great time. I thought we had a connection, and um, like it, it's, it seemed like a, a great night. I thought it was a. I thought for sure we were going to go out again. Well, I wasn't answering because I didn't want to just be nothing more than arm candy for another event. It just felt so shallow and weird, I guess. Brian, uh, would you are you still interested in asking Sarah out again? Oh, oh, heck yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, uh, like I, w- I would love to go out with you again. So that's why I've been like I'm hoping we could uh, round two and you know have another great time. So, Sarah, what do you say to that? Honestly, I'm just gonna trust my gut with this one, and I don't, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, I can't be bought, and I'm just not into superficial things. I need, you know, I need more than that. And I'm just gonna have to trust my gut. I'm sorry, I, I don't want to go out again. Really? Wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, you feel like he's not telling the truth, or that he's just, you know, more of a player think- than. Well, I mean, it's not very thoughtful taking, you know, five, six girls in a row to the same place, like where your peers and people you know are going to see you with them. Like, it's it's actually kind of embarrassing to me. Okay. Well, Sarah, thank you for your time. Brian, obviously this didn't quite go the way I think you had hoped, but... Not at all. I appreciate you reaching out, and I guess best best of luck to you. And Sarah, best of luck to you. Thanks. Thanks for the purse. Oh! Wow. Yeah. oh. <laughs> That's Is your date not calling you back? Next message. I left your message several days ago. Hook up or hang up with Level Up in the Columbia Mall. This is the Cosmo and Cat Show.